Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting video plan for you guys. I don't know how long this is gonna take me to film. Could be a week, could be two. So I don't know when you're gonna get this, but right now it is Monday, September 12th, and I am on the second book of the Akatar series. I'm on A Court of Mist and Fury. If you missed my first reading vlog of Court of Thrones and Roses, check that out. I'll link it down below. I'll also put the little tag up or whatever. So definitely watch that one first. That one is spoiler free. So if you have not read the book, I mean, I feel like if you're watching this, maybe you have because this one's spoilers, but if you have haven't read it and watching this for fun and even if you have definitely check that out you'll get all my opinions on the first book there's no spoilers and then the second half of the video is spoilers so those of you that have read it and want to see my opinions and reactions and all of the things that are spoilers that's also in the video this video is going to be me reading the rest of the series i don't know how many books if i'm going to be honest are in this series i think it's five and i'm pretty sure a novella came out court of thorns and roses a court of mist and fury a court of wings and ruin a court of frost and starlight a court of silver flames i don't know why i heard that there was a novella i don't know i'll figure that out when i get to the end on the second one i am about 108 pages in so i'm going to talk to you about how i feel so far on this one i started it yesterday i again i'm on page 108 chapter 11 i am taking thorough notes as i'm going along because i feel like i was talking to someone and they asked what part i was on on the first one i told them and they were like yeah i don't even remember that part happening and it was like a part that i really liked one i have the documentation in video form but i'm also writing down as it goes on as i read it because i feel like these thick books and like the big series i'm not going to remember throughout each book that i'm reading like what it's even about so i'm taking notes so, so far in this book, starting off before I went into it, I had a feeling it was going to be switching over to, again, if I say the names wrong, let me know, but I call him Ryson. I have a feeling in this book, Ryson and Feyre are going to get together. That's just, that's what I've known since the beginning. I knew he was like the main romance or romantic interest in these books, even though she was with Tamlin and it like still is. Loved her and Tamlin in the beginning, but now going into this one, I am kind of steered off of Tamlin. I feel like he's not really doing things that Feyre wants him to do. He's kind of just a little too protective and not really trusting her. She She's now immortal, so now she has. I don't know if she's gonna have the powers of all the seven high lords because they're the ones that brought her back to life, but like she has like powers now and stuff. She can defend herself. And we know from the first book, very last like hundred pages, she can very well defend herself. So Bryson sees that in her. He's teaching her how to read and write. He's teaching her how to block up like the shield in her brain. He's like helping her because she has to go there once a month for a week at a time because he like owns her for that week because of what happened in the first book. So I will say I am liking him more because even though Favorite doesn't like him right now, like you can tell that he's like trying to help her, and, like do what he thinks is best for her and Tamlin's like not and they're supposed to get married that didn't happen so love that and apparently there's like a war coming i think it's a king from a different part of the world who wants to like break the wall and like get rid of the mortals if i'm correct i probably am not because that part's a little confusing so far because it's only the beginning that's where i stand right now that's what's happening right now ryzen just came back to get Feyre for her week because the time was up she's like i don't know having nightmares at tamlin's and like not really feeling her best there and, but i can tell that she feels her best when she's at ryzen's because she literally said i'd had enough fighting and snarling and going back to that open serene place atop that mountain it seemed better than hiding in the library there you have it. i know she's excited to go back even though he like it's forceful i'm gonna keep reading this was just like an update where i am how i feel i'm excited to see where this goes we kind of met a few more characters we met ryson's cousin morgan i think her name is we met i don't know how to say her name i call her ianth Ian. she's like the priestess i'm pretty sure that's all we've met so far of the newer characters i don't know if they're gonna be main characters but those are like the newer ones from the first to second book like in this one i will update you guys as i go on i don't know you guys can read with me but just so everyone knows there are spoilers because i feel like i can't just read the rest of them and it not be spoilers so beware and don't say i didn't warn you guys the first one though no spoilers definitely watch that first okay so far so good Okay, I think it's time for an update. I think I'm like almost halfway. I'm almost on page 300. Here's what's happening. I wrote in my notes. I have lots of thoughts. Farah went to Ryson's house, Ryson's place, and she's staying there now because Tamlin like literally trapped her in the house, wouldn't let her leave, and she like feels suffocated because of her trauma from Under the Mountain, obviously, and I'm over here like... I was a Tamlin stan, you guys know from the first book. So it hurt that he like won't, I mean, I understand he's protective. He doesn't want her to get like hurt, whatever. 
but like that was a little much so now she's with Ryson which good for her because he not only wants her to work on her powers and stuff he genuinely wants her to be happy I think from what I'm feeling Ryson showed her the city that's untouched that no one knows about and then she met his inner circle which is more of which we already knew about I don't know how to say their names so I'm not gonna. There's two guys, Ryson, Moore, another girl. That's his inner circle. And then we kind of got their backstory. So like how they all met. Actually, we didn't get the one girl because she is apparently a whole other like creature. Kind of scary. And then they went to the Cave of Bones, talked to the Bone Carver, and they found out that there's this cauldron that the King of Highburn wants to take because that like made everything. And he could bring someone back from the dead with it and also break down the wall and he wants to like ruin and destroy the mortal world. Ryson and Vera are like, okay, we need to stop this and there's this book two halves one is with the mortal queens and then one is with king of the summer court i think and now they're trying to get those two halves to stop the cauldron stop king of highburn this whole task adventure that they're going on then Ryson made Feyre go to the weaver and get a ring that his mom it was his mom's ring that's where i'm at they literally just went to the mortal world and i ended the last night because i fell asleep <sighs> But a lot's going on since I last talked. There's like literally more characters, a whole new adventure, lots of rice in. I don't know what Tamlin's up to. I do miss Lucian. I'll say that. Like I miss him a lot. I loved him. So I'm like a little upset he's not in the picture. I hope he comes back. I hope he joins their team because I just, he was my favorite. I have a feeling in this book, they're going to figure out the cauldron and all of that. Like that's my prediction is that they're going to figure out how to stop King Highburn. Like that's their goal in this book. Excited to see that. We'll update you guys. I'm going to keep reading. I don't think it's slow. I think there's a lot of like background of all the new characters there was a lot of explanations about the cauldron like there's a lot more explanations about things that kind of was a little bit slower for me not much action even though there was bad action whatever gonna read today gonna get through more and we will see how far i get what happens I'm excited nervous entertained still which is very good i'll be back with future updates and future opinions and thoughts Time to be real. Like literally, not the app. Here's the thing, I have a few unpopular opinions. I'm not done. Slowly but surely getting there. I'm on page 399, so I'm on 400 of like six something. So hoping to finish it today or tomorrow. Things have happened. I'm gonna tell you what part I've gotten up to and then my opinions because I just posted my Court of Thorns and Roses first book reading vlog today and I've had people I've been talking. I got to the part where, okay, the inner circle met Feyre's sisters and then they went to the summer court and they met with that high lord, the princess and the prince, I'm pretty sure. And they like flirted, they were trying to get the book. That whole thing happened where they got her and was it Amryn? Were stuck in where the book was with all the water was rushing in, they were drowning. And then that water thing from the trite, I don't know if the trite was in the first or the second book. I'm pretty sure it was the first where she gave her like money because she didn't have anything to give up to Tamlin. Came back to save her. So that was really fun to see. Now they found out that Amryn, is it Amryn or Amryn? Maybe I should figure that one out. I'm literally almost on the third book and I don't even know what it is. Amryn, yeah, okay. So now she has to decode the book because it's in her. The language is the only one that she'll know, that she knows. She has to figure it out. And then they just met with the mortal queens. They won't give the book up. Ryson has to prove himself to the queens. So they're going to the court of nightmares. And then we also just learned background on Moore and what happened with her and why she's with Ryson. And that story was not fun to listen to because I love Moore. Unpopular opinion number one. I really wish that the author, Sarah J. Mass, I wish that she put Tamlin Moore in this book. I feel like we got so much of him in the first one. And then it's like, okay, let's cut him out of the story. And I'm just like, maybe he comes back. I'm sure he does because there's so many other books, but like, let's not give him a villain story and just cut him out I feel like that was like so just shut out and it's like I didn't love Tamlin by the end of it and what he did to Feyre but like why just like completely make it all about Ryson and his inner circle and I guess that's what this book is about and like Feyre figuring out herself and her powers because Ryson's letting her like also I miss Lucian I miss not Tamlin but like I don't know it was what the whole first book basically was about and like now they're gone maybe a little bit of them would have been nicer and then I don't know if it's because everyone and their mother literally told me that the second one is the best one that I'm like my expectations were through the roof and I'm like, why is this your favorite one? I didn't love the first one better, but I feel like I had more fun reading the first one. I don't know if it's because it was like learning about everything. I was getting into the world and stuff, but this one is good. Don't get me wrong. I'm like loving it. Obviously I'm loving it. I'm getting through it. I'm enjoying it. I'm understanding things. I'm loving like the found family thing going on and meeting all these characters. Like I love them. But I'm just like, what about this book is the absolute best. I don't think I feel the same. And I think that due to the fact that my expectations were literally so far or so high because everyone said this is the best one. And, like I understand 
and Feyre and Rice and like get together. I'm assuming they get more together towards the end of it because nothing like really happened yet. But like, is that the only reason everyone's loving this book? But I don't know. I'm like, why is this one the favorite? Maybe I'll figure that out by the time I finish it. Maybe I'll feel the same. But as of right now, it's not giving me like wow. Like it's not wowing me. I'm loving it. Don't get me wrong. I'm absolutely loving it. But it's not giving me like the the wow that everyone is saying. But then I'm just gonna put your at right here. She sent me a bunch of fan art because I haven't looked anything up and no fan art, nothing on Pinterest, no reading blogs because I don't want to spoil anything for myself because I don't want to ruin anything. I want my own opinions. So I told her where I was. So she sent me fan art. So I'm going to put some of my favorites up here. She sent me pictures of Farah, which I was like, okay, that's basically how I pictured her. And then Tamlin, that is not how I pictured him. I didn't picture him with that long of hair, I think. Lucian, someone said that's how you say it. I don't know. I said Lucian before. Also, not how I pictured him. I don't know why I didn't picture them with long hair. Nesta, she's beautiful. Elaine, love her sweetheart. She looks beautiful. Ayan, is that how you say it? She, that's how I pictured her. Amran, these characters are beautiful. Amran is absolutely beautiful. And so is more and more. It's just, I'm, I love her. I think she's one of my favorite characters as of right now. And then Cassian, is that how you say it? Cassian and Asriel, like Ariel the mermaid. Asriel, beautiful. They're just great looking characters. And then obviously, Reese is gorgeous. But those are how I pictured all of them. The surreal she sent me. She sent Amarantha, which is how I pictured her. The, the red hair. She sent me the worm thing from the first book. Then she sent me Valeris, which is beautiful. And then she just sent me a few TikToks that kind of just make sense and are just helping me out. Those are visuals that I'm now looking at and now are in my head that are helping me. I will say that I like how much action is in this book. Like everything that's happened in this book, I feel like that and the mix between all of the characters and their backstories and like meeting the new characters. I love the mix between the plot and the characters in this one. I'm excited to see how this one ends. I don't know if the third one's about, but I heard that third one's the most boring. I wish no one told me that because now I'm nervous to read it because I don't want to get into a slump But we'll see how it goes. I know this is like a long update But it's been a while since I updated anything and I think I don't really remember time to continue reading I will come back probably when I finish actually someone said to record myself reading chapter now I have hype for this chapter because I'm like what happens here 54 and 55 So I will come back during those chapters. I have a feeling I know what it's gonna be, but we'll see when it comes Okay, well, I hope I got that on video if not then it was for nothing just literally spilled the thing I was leaning my camera on because my tripod's upstairs. I just it shattered glass everywhere Good morning. I wanted to like read something that Ryson said to her a few chapters back, but I didn't have my camera with me. It was right before they had like a mini fight and I was like, oop. But they went to like Moore's father's like the court of nightmares and whatever. And she had to like play this part with Ryson and her Moore's father called her a whore, Feyre, a whore. And they got home and Ryson said, I will kill anyone who harms you. I will kill them and take a damn long time doing it. Go ahead, hate me, despise me for it. And then she kind of compared him to Tamlin, this whole thing. And he's like, don't compare me. And then she said something kind of mean and they got little little tiff a little fight they didn't speak for a few days like the starlight thing i don't know exactly what it is yet because favorite doesn't she was talking to amran favorite said he thinks he'll be remembered as the villain in the story favorite said but i forgot to tell him that the villain is usually the person who locks up the maiden and throws away the key and amran was like oh favorite was like he was the one who let me out love ryzen i feel like he's so misunderstood which i feel like happens a lot in like characters that are like supposed to be i guess in fantasy evil or whatever but they end up not being evil they're just misunderstood and i feel like ryzen to everyone else it's like he's like horrible but like in reality he protects everyone he loves he just wants to free his people save his people and i love him i think he is so pure even though he like on the exterior he's very like not not pure but, like on the exterior he's kind of like rough a little and scary on chapter 44 i'm gonna go keep reading i know i was gonna come back when I'm reading chapter 54 so I'll start recording then and then I'll finish it and we'll see what happens on page 470 chapter 48. I don't know why I've been just so confused about my feelings towards this book, but I've been thinking about it as I'm reading. And this book is written so well. I have understood everything. There's so much character development. There's so many new characters. The writing is amazing. And it's like, I think it just like finally hit me how much I love this book. Sorry if I scared anyone about saying that I didn't like this book. Not that I didn't like it, but I didn't have the same feelings as everyone else. And I don't know. It all just kind of like came together. And listen to what they just said to each other. <laughs> okay, page 470. So they're in this little inn together and the bed is like really small. One bed trope, we love it. Ryson says this. I'm thinking that I look at you and feel like I'm dying, like I can't breathe. I'm thinking that I want you so badly I can't concentrate half the time I'm around you. She said, I'm thinking that I can't stop thinking about you and that it's been that way for a long while, even before I left the spring court. And maybe that makes me a traitorous, lying piece of trash, but it doesn't, he said. He literally said to her that when he looks at her, he feels like he's dying and like he can't breathe. I know I said I wasn't annotating these books, but like some of these parts and quotes just hit. Uh, I feel like right now it feels like I just said that or it looks like I just said I'm loving the book because I just read a romance part. But I came to this conclusion before when Lucian came back and I was like such a Lucian stan in the first one because he was like bestie and then he like didn't help her at all. So I was like, okay, you're not bestie. <sighs> so good. So good.
Okay, so <laughs> just read chapter 54. I thought chapter 54 was gonna be something like Tamlin coming back to take her or like them finally like hooking up or something. <laughs> oh my god, he loves her so much. Oh, let me pause my music. Oh, it hurts. So they are obviously mates and he just explained literally everything to her even before they ever knew who each other were. He knew the bond and they were mated and he explained literally everything he's done for her. I just, I knew I was in love with you the moment I picked up the knife to kill Amarantha. And then he didn't tell her because her hatred was better than facing two alternatives that she either felt nothing for him or that she would be taken from him the way his family was and his friends were. And the first thing he did when he came back and saw Morgan was say that she was his mate. The part that really got me was this one. He said, if you were going to die, I was going to die with you. I couldn't stop thinking it over as you screamed as I tried to kill her. You are my mate. But then she snapped her neck and I felt you die. And this beautiful, wonderful thing that had come into my life, it was gone. Wow. That's not what I expected. I mean, I had a feeling, not the whole time, but like there was more to it from him knowing that she was his mate, but like not that deep. Like literally from the first second we saw him in the first book, he was, he knew. Hope I don't cry again. Guys, this is too much. This is way too much for me. I don't know. I can't keep reading. I have my chapter 65. The whole thing with the cauldron, the king, Jurian's alive, the king, Tamlin's there, Lucin's there. The queens came in and Azrael was shot and the sisters are there. Tamlin was working for the king. Nothing's going right. There's so much going on and I'm literally so stressed. And I'm like, how does all this happen at the very end of the book? 20-ish pages left and I'm like, what? You're gonna tell me that all of that happens there and like how does this end? So much is going wrong. So much is going wrong. I One of them is hurt. None of their powers work. The king's trying to kill them. Tamlin and Lucin are there. Lucin's still not speaking. He annoys me the most right now. I'll be honest. The sisters, the queens betrayed them. Valeris was ambushed because of the stupid queens. The stupid book. Can you tell I'm stressed? I'm back when I'm done. I also have to go buy the third book because I don't have it yet. So do all that and then we'll talk about it because I am just stressed. I'm stressed and I need to, I, oh, I need a break. Is Lucin's mate? I don't know why I'm crying. I I thought <laughs> I was convinced that the mate bond was broken completely. It was doomed. They were doomed. But apparently, no. He just broke the, the other thing. He swore her in as high lady. So now she's the high lady of the night court. I think she's the first high lady of a court, right? Because there's none of those. Wow, I thought it was over. That, it's too good. It's too good. Okay, I finished. Let's talk about it. I don't feel like getting up. So we'll talk about it right here. I will say in the middle, it fell flat for me. Not like flat completely, but just like, I don't know. But you saw, like, I was a little iffy about how everyone felt about this book. The beginning was really, really good. The ending was phenomenal. It was just, like, that little bit in the middle. And I think it's because it's, like, a larger book. Like, it just compared to, like, the other parts fell flat. So I feel like that's, like, expected. I know this is the most hyped of the series because it's everyone's favorite. I just, I can't believe Ryson and Feyre and how full circle it's come. And after he, like, confessed, like, everything, they really tricked me. I feel manipulated a little bit because I, like everyone else other than them two, obviously didn't know that she was the highest whatever i was so convinced that they were doomed and nothing was gonna be able to fix it well obviously i figured they'd be back together somehow but it's crazy because now we have this whole other storyline i feel like we're gonna get in the third book of lucian which i was really hoping we were gonna get more of him even if we hate him like i don't care i just like i liked his character i don't like his character but i like reading when his character is i don't know it's really weird i have this thing that i like reading about his character i'm excited to see his whole mate thing with elaine getting the sisters back Feyre is with tamlin like tricking him also ian as i say ian ian is the one that sold out the sister so i'm just i knew she was so sketchy but i'm excited to see where it goes in the third book now i feel like i need to obviously go buy it and start it i was gonna read a different book in between because that one's thick but i might just go get it and start reading i don't know what i'm gonna write this i don't know if it was a full five stars or four and a half so i'm gonna wait and hold off from writing it the ending was is so good there's so much happening i was like so stressed like one thing after another everyone is hurt there's so much going on hamlin lucin like all of them in the same room was like freaking crazy and, like lucin like kind of knows what's going on kind of gets the hint that favor is lying and i love how the end of it sets up for the third one there's no like closure like i need to read the third one now i know i said i'm gonna get the, the last book but wait i'm gonna read a four and a half only because like i said i don't know how long ago it's been but i wish that she didn't just cut off tamlin's storyline so quickly which i know 
that Lyra was in the night court, whatever, like she wasn't with Tamlin. Tamlin was such a main character in the first ones, and he was just gone until the, like the end, and Lucin came back like a little towards the end too, until like the final ending. But I was just like, I didn't love that two main characters from the first book were just cut off for so long in this one. But that's personal. That's just for me. Other than that, a phenomenal book, phenomenal writing. I, she really, she really knows how to pack it in, but in a good way. Hi guys, I have started the second one today. Not too long ago I started it. I'm now on page, I think like 80 maybe? Yeah, I'm on page 80. I love the storyline that this one's taking so far. Feyre in the spring court and kind of playing everyone. I think that's a really fun storyline. I feel like some people either take breaks between books and then they go back to them and then it's kind of boring, you can't get into it. But I feel like reading them back to back, it's like so much better because you're still in the world and you're still like in the storyline. I don't know, I went into this thinking it was gonna be like slow to get into and slow to like but i'm already loving it reading it very into it so i'm happy about that i'm very happy that this isn't gonna put me in a slump at least not yet let's make a prediction i think in this one something is gonna go wrong which well obviously between Farah, like the way that she speaks and breaks down her shield when she talks to reese i feel like someone maybe the the royals that are with the spring court right now from king highburn are gonna hear it or just like something's gonna go wrong someone's gonna find out that she's still playing the game or that she is playing a game with obviously the night court i don't know why i feel this but i feel like since lucian is her sister's like mate obviously that's gonna happen something between the sisters and all of that but i think that I hope that Lucian turns sides because I don't know what it is about him. Like, yeah, I hate that he didn't really help Feyre when she was after the Under the Mountain thing. He didn't really help her when I feel like he wanted to. And I know we're not supposed to like, like him because of that, but I just, something about his character, I just like, I hope that he gets like his good character moment. That's really it. I'm hoping that we get Bryson and more and all of them soon, see how they are, but I'm liking that she's in the spring court and then we're getting the characters from the first book finally again, but like in Feyre's way of playing them. I like really love it. I feel like it's fun. That's my update. I'm enjoying it. Very happy to see where this one goes. I'm gonna go read and I'll come back with anything else that I have. So far so good. Let's talk about it. I know my last update was yesterday. When I just started the book, I was kind of just giving predictions for it, but now that I'm 150 pages in, I have more of a opinion on it and this in comparison to the last two. I also love how this one's like floppy. Like you don't have to break the spine. Like, I'm loving it. I remember last time saying that I hoped Lucian was in it more, and I don't know why I just had this inkling that he was gonna be, and I'm so happy. It's not that, like, I love his character, because obviously he's done fair or wrong, but I just don't know what it is about his character. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so happy he's still in it. What's happened so far is basically they had that whole adventure back into Reese's life, going across all the courts to get back home. So they almost died. Lucian's brothers found them. They attacked King Highburn's royals. The whole reuniting part with Cassie and Azriel helping Lucian brothers and then they went back and the reuniting with more and Amran and the whole inner circle and obviously Reese I was just like I love her as a character I feel like she is such a strong character and I love how her development has happened like the second book I love the plot development of Reese's court and like all of that and I also love I guess the setting development but also the plot development of like going to the summer court and like whatever the character development in the second book was so amazing between all of the inner circle but also Feyre in general like she just like completely found herself and I love that about the second one I don't know why I'm liking this one a little bit more and I feel like that's gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings because everyone loves the second one it's their favorite in the whole series but this one so far is mine. And I know I'm only 150 pages in, so that can completely change my opinion and I could completely disregard that statement. But right now, it's my favorite and I'm excited to see where this one goes. Like the second one, I kind of had a feeling what it's gonna happen other than the end was a little crazy, but I'm just gonna read literally so much today and see how far I get. I'm excited to see where this one goes. I feel like this one it could go literally anywhere. I feel like this one's gonna be more of all the courts like fighting each other though, like a war and hopefully something with Lucian and Elaine and that whole thing. I'm hoping Nesta finds a lover in one of these books. Girly needs it. Isn't it? she likes or Cassian has a thing for her I will come back with further updates slash opinion
Guess who finished? Literally just finished it. It's been maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks since I've last updated this reading vlog. <laughs> I don't even know the last thing I said, I'll be honest. I stopped reading the book for a while because I got in the biggest slump and I needed a new world, a new story, new character. Not saying it was bad, it just, it slowed down a lot in the middle and I feel like a lot of it, I mean, it all like had the build up that it needed for like the war that they were going into, but I just, I got really bored. But finally just picked it back up a few days ago and right where I left off, it was right before they had like the big meeting with all of the high lords and all of the courts and stuff and Tamlin ended up coming back. I'm all for like tea and drama so like that was really good and the ending was insane. I wrote it all down. Tamlin was in the meeting. I was like thank you and I love when Farah like acts all bad bitch and like acts all when she was fighting with everyone during that little meeting in the beginning to like see who would be in with them to fight against the king and then the war in general it bored me but then there were different parts of it that was like so good like the surreal dying Come on, Nessa and Cassian connecting. Elaine was very insufferable and annoying up until killing the king. Up until that point, I couldn't stand her. So I'm hoping in the book after this, she gets more, I don't know, she gets better. And then I was like, this whole time, I was like, where's their dad? Where is that character? And then he comes back, wait, but then he dies. That was really sad. Tamlin saving her from when she went into the king's court place thing with Azriel and then the part where Risa dies before he comes back to life I literally had my headphones on guess what song came on right before it happened and as it was going on fine line by Harry Styles that was rude because that made that scene literally hurt and make me want to cry I did tear up but like it, it, that one hurt and then those two coming back what's her name Dracon Miriam her trying to do the treaty I love when all of the courts and the humans and everyone was together at the end she called the meeting you know ending was so good it was just that middle part that I just I couldn't get myself to read but the end was so so good. I rated it four stars uh, just because of that middle. I couldn't get through it for a little. The ending was just incredible. So I will say it was worth pushing through because the beginning was so good. The end was so good. It's just that that little section in the middle that fell flat for me. Oh, I underlined this part when Dracon, Draken, and Miriam came back. Lucian, Vasa, the other queen, and her dad came back. I was just shook. And then when Elaine said, "Don't you touch my sister," and killed him. And then when Tamlin was the last one to help bring Reese back. That was that was amazing. And then when Lucian came back was my one of my favorite characters, so that one really hit for me. Loved the ending. The ending really pulled it together amazingly. And I'm assuming the next one, it's smaller. It's, is it the blue one? I think it's blue. So I'll read the novella for you guys. Maybe some of you haven't read it yet, and I'll read it for you. I don't know. But the last one, I just am going to hold off for a little bit. I'm going to go get the next one soon. We'll read it together. I will see you when we're starting the next one, the novella. I thought that was part of the series, but apparently it's a novella. I'm going to read it though, so I will be back. Got this this morning. I'm six. Six pages in. I don't want to read this. <laughs> this is so unnecessary. Unless, like, this series is everything and more to you and you want more of the characters, then I think that you should read this. And I know I shouldn't be saying that because I haven't finished this yet and I'm only a quarter of the way through. Am I happy that I bought it to add to my stack? Yes. Am I gonna read the last one? Like, I don't think so. Unless someone tells me that the last one is life-changing and that the last one is, like, so good and I should read it. If someone could convince me to read the last one, I will. But I don't think I'm ever gonna, like, get to it. Unless, like, I'm in this, like, crazy mood to just sit and binge the last one maybe like over the winter time like you know like one of those like wintry days possibly but this is it for me i mean i'm gonna finish it like i can't i bought it there's that i'm just gonna like try to binge it i'm not gonna lie i'm skimming a little bit not like skimming but like i'm like low-key skimming first impressions not so good and i know it's a novella like obviously i'm not sitting here saying this is like a part of the series that like everyone has to read some novellas i feel like help the story and the regular books and series this one not yet at least i am gonna go finish it as much as i don't want to read it i am going to and i'm not sitting here saying i don't like the characters and anything like i love the characters i just don't i don't care i don't know how to explain that one but i just i just don't feel like i have to read this book love the blue color though blue is beautiful <laughs> I'm gonna go finish. I'll be back when I'm done. I'm not giving updates for this one. I'll give my final thoughts. Maybe my whole mindset will change and I'll be like, everyone needs to read this novella. But first impressions, you don't have to read it. That was like really negative. Like love the series so much, but like trying not to be negative. Let's switch this up. Oh, I love that we're getting different point of views. It's first person when it's in Reese and Feyre's point of view, but in like we got Cassian more, I think that's it, but they're like third person, which is interesting. But that makes it more fun, more point of views. That's a plus. There are pros in this novella and it's short. 200 pages so 
Okay, goodbye. So I just officially finished this. I had major karma yesterday after low-key bashing the book a little bit because soy sauce just all over this page. I went to open the packet and I know not to eat those types of foods around books, but I just couldn't, couldn't resist. And it only ruined that page though, so it's fine. I think I'm gonna write this three stars. I mean, it's a novella. We knew that, I knew that. It was about the solstice and the presents and Nesta being so unbearably, whatever she's she is and whatever she's going through, it's hard to read. Elaine though, she has stepped up a little bit. At least at the end, she was talking to Azriel and she made Farah a beautiful cake. Unless you want like a little story about all these characters that you love the characters, like you want that extra story, then I think this is perfect. But like, I didn't need it. So like three stars, I don't really, I don't really care. That's the end of this video though, because I am not going to read the last one, at least not right now. I need a little bit of a break maybe. I don't know, I can't commit to an 800 page book just right now. Maybe next month, maybe over the winter. Like I know that's a long time from now. Just let me know if you guys want a reading vlog of that one or i'll just like read it and rate it we'll talk about it in a wrap up or something it was fun to film it did take a while to film let's start from the beginning of this video so the second book i don't have it with me right now it's upstairs but i think this one and the first one are my favorite this one being my favorite because reese was in this one he's in the first one a little bit obviously but if he was in the first one more i think the first one would be my absolute favorite but because he's in this one and you get their story and like those last chapters and stuff like it was so good and you get Feyre finding herself so this is my favorite one so far this is where you get everything that sets up for the rest of the books like all the characters the found family the love this is definitely i understand why this is a fan favorite the third one we know it took me into a slump but the beginning and the end were so good so entertaining like i love how action-packed it was the middle just like fell completely flat for me it's like that it happened you know so i did enjoy this one i just wish it was like a little bit shorter i don't know the third one was good and then this one you know it's a novella what do you what do you expect like i said in another clip like some novellas help the story go this one didn't help the story at all i just feel like this it was it was okay but overall the series if we're not talking about the last one obviously because i didn't read it i feel like the series for me isn't my favorite series of all time it was really good from what i've read i love the characters i'm actually gonna miss them until i read the last one Feyre is a female main character that i love she's just like selfless and like a really great main character like female main character reese love him Azriel and cassian what's not to love there more amory obsessed with them the sisters though elaine and nesta i think they need some character development hopefully in the last one maybe they get some other than that who else am i missing tamlin was in this one though why do i feel bad for him i do i'll say it i feel bad for him i know that he was a horrible monster but like i do feel bad for him and then lucian still one of my favorites i'm hoping he gets some justice and redeemable scenes in the last book i guess we'll find out maybe that's all i have for this i would rate the series as a whole four stars like it's good if you're into fantasy and romance like it's perfect and also like a series that like they're thick books it's a longer series at that point i'm kind of like i need a new world i need new characters even though i love them i don't know it's not really a big series girl i mean i read the series like the popular ones because one i might like them two people recommend them you know i always will read books people recommend and i see everywhere because it has to be good that is my review those are my thoughts on this series i am happy that i read the first few books i honestly might reread the first and second a few times because i actually really enjoyed them when i'm in the mood for it but i don't know about the last one yet but we will see when that time comes thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this book i know it took a while to come out so i'm sorry about that but i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you want the last book in a reading vlog or not i don't know what happens in the last one it must be significant to be 800 pages but i don't know thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye!